Imagine three Jamaicans stole US 2.8 million from Americans. Guys, thank you for always coming back to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. My people, several people, including three Jamaicans, have been indicted by federal grand jury in Pittsburgh. United States and charges of conspiracy to commit mail fraud, wire fraud, and money laundering. The three people are Jason Plummer, 31, Troy Williams, 38, and Tajay Singh, 26, and they were arrested in separate operations in Montego Bay, St. James. In last week, the announcement about the indictment charges for which stem from the U.S. Department of Justice wide ranging efforts to protect older adults from fraud and financial exploitation was made by U.S. Attorney Eric Olshane on Friday. And I'm telling you that a lot of these Jamaicans, especially some who had never been anywhere, they feel that they are entitled. Some of them feel that because a person is white, they are rich. Some of these people, they work in fast food place, they work in Walmart, McDonald's, all their lives to save one thirty thousand or one forty thousand dollars for when they retire. And if they want to take a trip or if they want an extra two hundred dollars other than their little social security money, which can't even pay rent. And these people come in and take the money from them. Others feel that they are entitled to the money because of slavery. And instead of they go out there and work, they sit in front of their computer and their phones and try to rob these poor old people who are vulnerable people out of their money. I don't know what is wrong with some of these Jamaicans. There was a time when you used to hear that they're scamming in Nigeria. Then you used to hear that they're scamming in India. I, it's very, very hard to comprehend why some Jamaicans have to gravitate towards these terrible things. They say, if you can't do good, you shouldn't do bad. And yet, these people just don't have any conscience. You know, as one person comment, I was reading this comment where one person says that don't talk about Christianity because these young people nowadays don't believe in anything to do with Christianity. And this was a young person who was commenting about that. In other words, he's trying to say what, what he thinks, personally thinks, and he just assumed that's the case. But to how these young people are acting nowadays, really and truly, he is correct. The announcement about the indictment charges for which stem from the U.S. Department of Trust in Justice wide range effort to protect older adults from fraud and financial exploitation was made by U.S. Attorney Old Shane on Friday. The Jamaicans were each named in separate two counts indictments. Meanwhile, a fourth two count indictment named um, Defendants Murray and from Florida, Mackenzie from Mount Vernon, New York, Byfield from Bridgeport, Connecticut, and Reed from Fort Lauderdale. And if one must think, Maybe some of these other people, based on the addresses in, in America and the locations, some of these other people might be Jamaicans too, but American citizens. And they all worry, look like they're probably all working together to rob these old people of their money. And these defendants... The U.S. of 20 years in prison and a fine of twice the loss to any victim or both under the federal sentencing guidelines. The actual sentence imposed would be based upon the seriousness of the offense and prior criminal history of the defendant. So, I mean, once they, they are here, they're not going to get away with it. And it's very, very unfair. It's very embarrassing for Jamaicans, especially Jamaicans living abroad, because there is so much scamming going on now that maybe in five to ten years, people won't, will not want to hire Jamaica in any financial institutions in the U.S., because they are going to be seen just as nothing but scammers. This law provides for a maximum. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. 
foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica, guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to get. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.